Got one? You feel him pulling? It's a fish. Come this way. Come up here. I right, don't put too much pressure on him. That, that thing's got a small line. That's a dang good one if that's a bass, dude. If that's a bass, that's a dang grown. He, whatever it is, he's trying to get back in that brush pile. I don't know what you got. I'm trying to get him away from that brush pile. There you go. He's swimming out now. All right, just take time. There he is. He's coming up. Cat. Oh, it's a big old bass. That's a big old bass. All right. Big spot. That's a pretty spot. Yeah. Nice one, Mitchell. Yes. That's awesome. That's a good yes. one, boy. That is awesome. A drop shot paid off on that one. That might be the biggest one I've ever caught. That's a big old pretty spot. All right, we're going to talk about the best drop shot baits today. So uh, there's lots of baits. Obviously, drop shot has become a really popular technique. Really good finesse presentation when you got to get a bite, but it also catches really big ones too. So looking at some of the best ones ever, the power bait, flatworm. Uh, it's a, a go-to, especially up north. Got matte black finishes. It's got the, uh, the max scent. Power bait formula says 45% more fish catch. It's probably true. They hold on a lot longer. They've got a lot of scientific studies showing that. So that's a really neat bait for drop shotting, especially up north uh, on the smallmouth fisheries where they're eating predominantly smaller bait, goby and those kinds of things. Uh, another really popular one is the Yamamoto baits shad shaped worm. It's a, I mean, a small bait here, three inches. It's got a little pin tail. It's got a lot of action. You can hardly sit the thing still. Uh, really good bait for nose hooking. Good for spots and smallmouth. Uh, poor boys, this is the Erie Darter. It's another great bait for smallmouth fisheries up north. Again, it got that profile of a goby. Um, I actually rigged up some of these baits to show y'all some underwater footage. I didn't have a drop shot hook in the boat, so I used a little wacky hook, but I wanted to show y'all what the bait looks like in the water. So that's a really good one. It's got a little bit different profile from a lot of these other baits with those bigger ribs. Good bait for drop shotting. Then you got the Robo Worm. You actually have a couple, and, and really Robo Worm is one of the best uh, drop shot baits period so you got the fat straight tail and that's really good for drop shotting with a uh, kind of texas rig situation where you do it weedless so it's a little bit more meat to the bait and uh, it's good bait for drop shotting and brush when you need it to be weedless and then it's the same bait but it's a little bit smaller and this is the original the robo worm straight tail uh, i think there's a four and a half and a six inch version it's another fantastic drop shot bait probably the best drop shot bait ever uh, air martin's greatest finesse fisherman ever to live he really made this bait super popular worldwide and then x zone uh brandon polnick another angler of the year as is aaron martin brandon polnick's won twice but this is one of his baits it's x zone this is the finesse slammer and uh it's a nice little goby size bait as well got the same profile but this bait actually comes with a tray so one of the big things with drop shot baits is a super visual technique a lot of times so you want baits to stay in really good shape, really straight. You don't want a bunch of kinks in your baits. So that's one neat feature here that really sets this bait apart from a lot of the others is this tray package that goes inside the Ziploc. So those are some of the best, probably the best drop shot baits period across the board. At least four of them would be in the top five of every angler. So if you need to know what to buy for drop shots, these are some great ones. Right here in front of me is a brush pile. Can you see it about to, about to stick out of the water? There you go. Got one? Is it a fish or is it that brush power? You feel him pulling? It's a fish. Come this way. Come up here. Come up here and see if he'll swim out. I feel like a good one. I right, don't put too much pressure on him. That, that thing's got a small line. Stuff. That's a dang good one if that's a bass, dude. Uh, yeah, don't put... Hey, he he's coming out. He's coming out. That's good. That's good, just let him fight. Let him fight. Let me back off the drag a little bit. Alright. Pull him that way a little. If that's a bass, that's a dang grown one. He, whatever it is, he's trying to get back in that brush pile. There you go. I don't know what you got. I'm trying to get him away from that brush pile. There you go. He's swimming out now. Alright, just take your time. Now just take your time. Don't even reel. Just let him fight. Maybe a big catfish. Just kind of try to keep pressure. And if he comes his way real, there he is. He's coming up. Cat. Oh, it's a big old bass. That's a big old bass. Alright, be real easy. Nice one, Mitchell. Yes. That's awesome. That's a yes. good one, boy. That is awesome. A drop shot paid off on that one. That might be the biggest one I've ever caught. That's a big old pretty spot. That would win big spot nine times out of ten. It's a three pounder. All right, Mitchell got him a big one here. Time to turn her loose. Go pretty spot. She gone. Nice.
Hey, had a bite and I missed it. Well, I was talking about, about that drop shot. That's like the first time I've thrown it the whole day. But yeah, they like the fish like to get a little deeper. There's just not a lot of that kind of cover. If you see something like this, you can turn around and throw to it. Catch some little ones sometimes, but need like dang, I missed him again. Need something, yeah. Need somewhere with a little more of it. You can see where, and see where my hook is. Look where his teeth are getting. Oh my gosh! Right behind the hook. It ain't probably ain't about eight inch little spot. Bang! Come off again. I think he's just holding the worm. I ain't got a hook in him yet. Watch what I'm gonna do though. I'm about to show him a trick. Six inch worm, four inch worm. If he bites the same amount he's been biting, he's had. I even left a hook out. I'm daring him to do something this time. That reel is unbelievable. Like he knows. Might be a little better than I thought. The old drop shot. Catch and release.